for the, um, the Hondas uh, to test in the 2015 450 and the 250. It's been a brilliant, brilliant bike. Um, I'm used to riding some other bikes, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. With the 450, I noticed um, they've got different forks and stuff like that. Um, pushed on a little bit on the front, which I, I remember riding probably five or six years ago, the um, exact same problem, but all in all, the, the actual chassis of the bike, um, the handling, um, feeling so nimble underneath me, it was, it was quite good. Um, it feels really, really light, you can put pointed everywhere. Um, I found the engine is really, really good, uh, off the bottom, strong, doesn't lose so much on the top. You do lose a little bit, but not as much as I thought it was going to lose, but uh, yeah, all in all, really, really good, happy with it. So I uh, just tested the Honda 250 um, 2015, brilliant bike, forks really really nice, I think they've got the, the new triple air, um, big difference compared to riding the 450, I found they were a lot, um, a lot nicer, a bit more harsh, um, the engine itself wasn't as strong as I, I was expecting but it was a really nice engine and for a general rider, um, an average rider, it's a really really good bike to ride, the handling is, is superb, it's a really nice bike to hand for handling and just all in all it's a fun bike to ride. Everywhere I went, no matter if I hit a, a, a big bump, jump, so that it was fun to ride. I could throw it out um, in the corners and stuff like that. The chassis and all felt really, really nice, and I'm not complaining with that. Yeah, so uh, one thing I noticed with the Hondas was the oversized discs. I'm a very fond user of the front brake with one finger and if you don't apply enough pr pressure from front brakes you, you, unless they're good, really good brakes, you, you don't notice them but one thing I did notice was the really, really good front brakes and I was really happy with the braking system. So the 450, the, the power on the bottom um, being smooth and not too aggressive all the way through, I really, really like that. Um, back shock was nice and um, the traction of the, of the bike was really, really nice. The overall actually handling and, and the feeling underneath me was pretty nice to have a nimble bike, it was just like riding a BMX and it comes it comes good to stages when you're getting into trouble on jumps or you get a last minute kick or you're not expecting something, it's very easy to correct. Uh, genuinely the, the stock setting on the 2D was um, it was nice nice riding, obviously I, I, I rode one, probably one or two laps of that um, and then I changed to the Mach 2, the intermediate setting and there was a bit of a difference, a, a little tiny bit of a difference on the bottom or so. Um, it didn't seem to change um, as you go through the mid range or the top and then I tried the aggressive setting which was a, it was a little bit more aggressive but um, for race setting so you definitely you'd be riding uh, in the aggressive Mach 3 for the likes of races and stuff like that depending on the rider and, and how you like your engine but it was a, a major difference in the settings. Okay, so the original setup of the Honda 450 um, was good. I went out for a lap or two. I just had to come in and make a small alteration of the forks and the shock, just kind of up everything, compression, rebound, um, high, high speed as well. And um, one thing I did notice was all the settings and the shock was on the actual upper barrel. There was no up and down, so it was a lot easier to, to alter. You didn't have to go and kind of go from the bottom to top. Um, hurting your back, which is um, a big plus, I suppose, when you're doing things last minute. There's no no point in um, hurting your back, I suppose, doing some settings and adjustments. But uh, once I made some settings, made it a little bit harsher, it felt a lot nicer to ride. Dislikes is probably the saddles in both bikes. They're very, very soft. I find you sit down too low on the bike. Um, it's probably good for an average rider, but um, myself, I, I, I really like, I, I like a harder seat. It makes you sit up more on a bike and gives you a bit more stability and um, strength on the bike. Yeah. Mm -hmm.